What's up guys, B-Dub coming at you here with another video and today I'm going to be talking to you about some little tips and tricks you're able to do if you have a Nissan 370Z with the smart key fob. So let's go ahead and get started, shall we? So I want to show you something pretty cool here. Say for example, if you're roasting your ass off, such as myself right now, to be honest, because it's 90 degrees outside and you don't really want to have to get in your car roll the window down manually, what you're able to do is you're able to click this button right here, your unlock. Hold it. Voila. It will then roll both your windows down for you. So you got that nice fresh air coming in. You don't have to worry about doing it when you're in a hot baking car. It kind of airs out for you, then you could step in the vehicle. So that is how that works for that. Very nice feature. I don't know if you guys noticed that or not, or ever knew about that. One other thing real quickly while we are on this unlock mode. Listen to this little noise. A lot of people on the forum that I've been reading, multiple forums, they are like, what is this noise that's coming from my car? It's a bizarre, like high pitched noise that's coming from the car. And they're saying this as they're inside of it. So they don't realize that noise is normal. What that is, that's allowing your little fuel door to be unlocked. Okay. That's what you call that. It's a latch system. So I'm gonna slowly put this down, then we'll lock it. And it locks it, can't open it now. So that's what that noise is. I know a lot of people have been asking like, what the hell is this bizarre noise coming from the car every time I unlock my doors? It's like a high pitched little noise. That's what that is, it is completely normal. It is the laughing system for your fuel cap. That is what that is, or fuel, fuel door, excuse me. So that is what that sound is, completely normal. There's nothing wrong <laughs> with your Z by any means, folks. For those of you guys wondering what the hell that noise is, it's not possessed, it's not a ghost, it is all legit, normal, nothing to stress about. So something else I kind of want to show you guys as far as this key fob goes, um, say for example, like this is an intelligent key, so meaning you're able to come walk up to the vehicle and then all you got to do to get in and out, let me zoom in a little bit here. Get my little Hello Kitty out of the way here. Okay. What you're able to do, come up to the vehicle. See, there's this little button right here. Click it. Unlocked. There we go. So you got to click it twice like that, then it makes that little noise again. That's because we're unlocking the passenger side as well as this little feel door and then when it goes deep 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 that's like letting you know lock unlock so that's kind of how that works and then real quickly i do want to show you if something ever were to happen like where your remote died with the battery you are able to get in the vehicle manually you just basically want to put this little switch here to the side pull out i'm going to do this um with this hand one hand here try to at least to show you guys okay this is what you have right here a manual key to get in and oops i'm on the wrong side duh it's going to be on your driver's side door so you basically just put it in your little slot like this oops the sun's in my eyeball sorry and then you churn then you can get in. Oops, I got it locked, my bad. I thought it was gonna beep at me for locking. There. Okay. Now I'm gonna put this back in my key fob, just like so, okay? This is if you ever get locked out, by the way. If you're like, oh shit, what do I do? This is what you're gonna wanna do, follow me, people. Then you got this little slot thing, this little hole, like some sort of galaxy. <laughs> Put this in, 
See? Blinking, it knows it's in. It lets you know, hey, it's in, you're good to go. Click down on your brake and then you could start her up. That's how you do it. Let's take that out because that beeping is annoying as hell and I hate when people have that shit do going off in their video for like 10 minutes solid. It's, uh, turn off your um, ignition or <laughs> shut your door or something. So that is how that works, you guys. If you're ever locked out, there is a way to get back in. You're not screwed where you have to call AAA or call friends or family or something to come get you. That's what you do for that. So I hope that these little tips and tricks were helpful as far as how to roll down your windows without having to get in and how to get in your car if your fob was to ever die. So there is hope. You're able to do it. <laughs> You are able to do it. And then keep in mind, speaking of fob real fast, there's only lock, unlock, and panic mode. There's no trunk release on your key fob. And there's no trunk release button in this model year Z. I know they did upgrade that in year 2018 for trunk release to be in the center of the vehicle by the center console, but it's not going to be in any years prior to 2018. So to open up your trunk, you literally have to come back here. And then there's a little button right under there that you just have to click with your hands then it opens up so that's a little bit about that guys i hope this was helpful once again and i hope you all have a great day remember to like comment and subscribe if you haven't already done so and thanks again for watching and until my next video bye guys <laughs>